Hi! Hi everybody, this is Sarah. Today the reading will be for Sagittarius' October forecast. I hope you're doing well and that you're taking care of yourself during this trying time. This is part of the transition, so don't lose hope, okay? If you're new here, I make videos on astrology, tarot, meditation, Reiki, and all sorts of stuff to help you on your spiritual journey. There are so many new videos about to drop. Why don't you just go ahead and subscribe? You don't want to miss anything. We have a lot going on for you, so let's just dive right in. I'm going to be using the Doreen Virtue Fairy Oracle Card Deck, and of course, this will be my take on the energies for October. And that being said, this may not resonate with everyone, and that's okay. If it doesn't resonate with you, no worries, just pass it on by, and I do hope you find what you're looking for. There's so much happening for you, like I said. Also, if you haven't, there's an overview of the month. It's the October 1st full moon video, and I'll put it here and I'll link it below too. And of course, I talk about the full moon in it, <laughs> but discuss other astrological events that will be happening during the month. And we have a Mercury retrograde coming, and I'll probably do a new video on it shortly too. So for this month's reading, we're gonna be asking six questions, and they are, what are you bringing forward from September? What fears, challenges, and obstacles can you expect in October? What's going for you in this month? In other words, what tool or challenge have you overcome that you're bringing forward that's going to be an asset for you? Your general health outlook, your general love outlook, and both of these, disclaimer here, are very broad because there are thousands and thousands of Sag natives out there. So take that with a grain of salt. And the final question will be, where will you find yourself at the end of the month if you continue on your current path? And really, the reason that we consult readers, follow our horoscope, go to a psychic is we want that information of what's coming, what the, what the energy alignment patterns will be. Not so much because they're locked into stone, but because it gives us an idea of what we can expect, and then we can plan for that. Or if we know that we've gotten off track, gotten away from our goals or, or who we are even, this gives us a time for course correction before things get any worse. Just because a reader, me or anyone else, says something's going to happen doesn't mean that it's locked in stone. You still have free will. <laughs> and I guess I should say, this is not a bad reading. Okay, let me clarify that. This is nothing probably you don't already know, but not a bad reading. So quickly, let me just shuffle and we will draw the first card. Hmm, quiet time, also not a surprise. You realized in September how much you needed that quiet time, how much you needed downtime to rest and recharge. And that's time to just be away from everything. That's time to, you know, escape your family, escape work, escape all the responsibilities, and also shut down the internet, turn off your phone, and just be. For some Sag natives, this was almost impossible. And for others, well, you know, they managed to squeeze in an hour here and an hour there. But this card is about honoring your mind, body, and soul and making the effort to nurture yourself. Most of the time, Sag natives feel indestructible. <laughs> and you're raring to go. You have a lot of energy, you have a lot of drive and a lot of focus, and you get things done. But you can't always do that without recharging. And with everything that's happened this past year, you you definitely need that downtime to recharge. And that was a big lesson. So if you haven't already, schedule time in. It would be great if you could do it weekly to turn off the phone, disconnect from Facebook and the internet, stay away from the TV, and just be. Whether that's time to draw, paint, meditate, exercise outside, whatever it is, just find something you can do that will give you that time you need to restore yourself. And if unplugging like that sounds frightening to you, then that's a clue that you probably need that time. The internet will not self-destruct if you're not on it, okay? Trust me. <laughs> Take a one-day break here and there. And remember, remember all those hobbies that you used to enjoy so much? It's time to revisit them too, and not as a job or a way of making a side hustle or making money on the side, but just to create for the sake of creating, because that's another thing that really nurtures you, Sagittarius. You're a very creative person. Unfortunately, though, a lot of you work in very analytical positions. It's up to you to really make sure that you do stay in balance by nurturing that side of your life as well. Not a big surprise. You've learned this lesson or you've known 
this lesson for a while and hopefully you were able to make time to recharge so you're bringing that energy forward knowing that you need to continue that into October and spoiler the rest of the year so just accept it put it on the calendar and if you can't do a full day you could do two half days maybe Saturday morning let's say or Thursday afternoon do something like that just to give yourself the downtime so let me shuffle really quickly and we're gonna look at your fears challenges and obstacles for October ah inner power do we see a theme here you have within you the power of the universe and some days Sagittarius you feel it you are ready to go and you feel indestructible and well some days not so much some days you feel overwhelmed, stressed, anxious, and defeated. And I think right now, all of that is completely normal. We're going through uncharted territory. We're facing changes that we never expected. So because of that, it can really start weighing on you and weighing on your self-confidence, weighing on your self-esteem. It's really interesting too, in our Christian society, power gets a bad rep. But in reality, as a spiritually minded person, and you are, you wouldn't be here. I didn't say religious, I said spiritual. You don't really need to worry about you misusing or abusing your inner power. It's, it's not something that's going to happen because it's not about dominating anyone. It's about creating opportunities for healing, wellness, and personal growth. This is not about, you know, being a tyrant. So don't worry about that. You are an amazing manifester, Sagittarius. And once you decide on something, once you decide what you want, it's really easy for you to draw it to you. But the last year, honestly, there's been so much going on in your life that it's been really hard to stop and get clear on what you actually want to happen. So you've been kind of wishy-washy and flipping back and forth and undecided. And the energy around you reflects that. You're having those moments of clarity, but they're not lasting. Taking that downtime, hello, broken record here again, taking that downtime to restore yourself will help you get back in balance, which will also then help you get clearer and get focused on what you really want. It will also help you connect with this inner power on a deeper level. And then once you do, it will become easy for you to shift into that manifestation mode, and then you'll be able to open those closed doors. This is a wonderful, gift and i know it sounds like yeah how is that a gift if it's a challenge well it's a challenge yes but it's a challenge you can easily overcome this is something you know you need to work on and you've been working on it to some degree but i don't think you've really committed to it 100 percent because once you do this is this is a no-brainer you'll be able to do it that's going to be one of the lessons for this month and yes we are already seeing a theme so let me shuffle and see what the next card will be and the question is what's going for you that you can use to make the most of this month awakening your true self. I don't even need to be here. The cards are just telling you, aren't they? Okay. <laughs> so you're beginning to reconnect with your true self. And like I say, it started a few weeks ago and it's about time, right? It's about time that you started to remember who you are, that life is about fun, not just about constant drudgery and not constantly having to worry over money, over your health, over if you say something, it will upset your spouse or your family, not constantly having to to censor yourself or work yourself to death to try and be what other people expect you to be. That's not what life is about. It weighs on you so much, but you've ended up in the situation and it is a situation where you should be. Don't get me wrong. This is where you should be, but it is about learning the lessons from it. And part of that is for you to wake up and remember who you are. Connect with your inner power. Remember your joy and zest for life. Sagittarius are wonderful to be around because they're generally so full of life. They're ready to go. They're ready to explore big adventures and they're ready to embrace the unknown. But lately you've been feeling completely the opposite. You've been feeling stressed, overwhelmed, anxious, and once again, that's not you, that's everyone. But we're starting to see that we're getting on the other side of the transformation and that we're starting to see that you're coming back into your own. This is one of your best tools for the month, remembering this, remembering your zest for life. And, and don't get me wrong, we all change and grow through our
our experiences and that's what's supposed to happen. But for the past few years, you've put your needs aside or at least you've moved them to the background. Let's put them that way. So that you could get stuff done and you could do what you thought you should be doing. And now you're discovering that you're not happy. You're not happy on a lot of different levels. And as you go back and reconnect with yourself and start remembering what made you happy and what you wanted to accomplish, where you wanted to travel, what adventures you wanted to have, you start realizing that life is not about drudgery and pain. Life is about opportunities and you're starting to get that spark back. So that's going to be, like I say, one of the best tools for you for this month. This is a month of shifts for you, subtle shifts. It's not going to be you wake up one day and suddenly there's enlightenment. No. It's a process that you're going through and you've been going through it. I think this month, if all goes well, you will see the rewards of the work that you've been doing since May about. The equinox started a chain of events in motion for you that probably aren't apparent yet, but you'll probably see it end of October, beginning of November. There's a lot of different energies at play and you're about to be hit with some opportunities, but to be able to take full advantage of them, you need to be rested, you need to be at the top of your game, and you need to remember who you are. Now, if you decline these opportunities, no worries. Something will come back around later, but it may take several months or even six months before they come back. So just keep that in mind as you plan out the rest of the month. Your general health and like a broken record, let me say it again. <laughs> This is, of course, a general reading. If you're feeling ill, go visit your healthcare provider. Better safe than sorry. Yes, kick up your heels. Also, once again, not a surprise. Do you even need me here, right? <laughs> Okay, basically, health-wise, you're feeling restless. Mm -hmm. You're starting to feel better as you do reconnect with yourself. You're starting to feel better and you're ready to feel good again instead of just, eh. You are bored because, hey, the lockdown, and you want to go have some fun because, like I say, you're remembering who you are. But physically, you're not there yet. You're still feeling tired. You're still feeling off a little bit, and it's still rather difficult for you to relax. All of that is making it difficult for you to commit to a Zoom dance party or for you to master those hiking trails or for you to get back into that weight training. And all of that makes perfect sense. So much has happened that of course it's going to take a toll on you. I know you think you're indestructible, but you're not. It's taking a toll on everyone. This is part of the lessons that we signed up for. I don't think we read the fine print, but yeah. <laughs> this is not the right time to work on major body changes. You know, don't jump into a 30 day boot camp online this month. If you do, you're probably not going to finish it. It's also not a time to, you know, radically throw out all the food in the pantry and only eat organic. Although that's healthy and it's good and you should strive for it, but it's a small step. And Sagittarius is not known for taking small steps. It's straight to the moon with you guys, which I love. You're processing all the recent changes and you're processing them mentally, spiritually, and physically as well. So your energy levels can be off from moment to moment, day to day, hour to hour. Sometimes this feels like an energy hangover. Sometimes we call this ascension and it can leave you feeling hungover, even though you're not drinking. It can leave you feeling lethargic, unfocused, stressed, anxious, angry, apathetic from one moment to crying about things that happened in the past the next. So it's a roller coaster of emotional rides. If it's too much, go find somebody you can talk to online. And I'm talking about a professional. Don't suffer through this alone. Physically, while all of this is going on in your mind, your body is also suffering. So take this month to slowly, and that's the key here. I know it's not a word you don't want to hear, but slowly get back in balance. There is a possibility of a cold or a respiratory condition this month, but I don't see it being any huge game changers. If you do feel ill, go seek medical attention because it's better safe than sorry. You have, just like Leo has, the ability to take something small and blow it out of proportion when it comes to health. So better safe than sorry. Other than that, it looks like if you can de-stress, everything should be fine. And by the end of the month, you should be feeling more invigorated and ready to go and have those adventures. This is like the last month really of nurturing yourself and you can do it. So commit 100% and you will reap 
large rewards by November. Oh, and there's one more thing I wanted to tell you about your health too. You're not feeling inspired when it comes to work and business dealings, and that's okay. You can't build a multi-million dollar endeavor in 15 minutes. Well, if anybody could, you could, but not right now because you are processing all of these changes and all of this energy. So give yourself a break this month and don't push projects through. As I said, this is a month for you to rest, recharge, and get ready for the upcoming changes. So don't be so hard on yourself setting impossible schedules. So that was a lot, but got this. Let's do your general love forecast. And same spoiler, this is general, okay? Let me shuffle really quickly. Ah, romantic partner. You've been seeing this card come up for a couple of years now, haven't you? There is someone out there gets a little bit closer to you and then kind of moves away. It's a little bit closer then moves away. You may not have even seen them yet. They may not have even made contact with you, but they're there <laughs> and they're getting closer. Yeah, partnered Sag. Do you feel like you're on a hamster wheel with your partner? <laughs> Going back over the same issues over and over and nothing seems to be solved. Issues and situations that you've basically forgotten and moved on from because, hey, we're fire signs, we burn through that stuff. Meanwhile, your partner seems to be keeping a dedicated journal just for every time you put your foot in your mouth or maybe done something they didn't like. And they've been reviewing the notebook a lot. These problems from the past are now more popular than Netflix with them. And all they want to do is just go back over them and tell you how everything is your fault and everything is out of alignment because of what you've done. So you're tired and you're done with this because you know it's not true. How do you get through this? Well, you set your partner down and you pay attention to everything they're saying and you let them speak. You let them talk it all out and when they get done, pretty much you tell them, okay, I hear you, I understand you, but tell me what's really wrong because we've rehashed the past, we've gone through this stuff in the past and we can't change the past. We can only move forward. If your partner's determined to live in the past, then the relationship will not continue. It just won't go anywhere because I mean, you can't live in the past. If they're willing to move forward, then put in some new ground rules and begin from that place and then this will be a turning point in the relationship. After Mercury retrograde begins on October the 13th, you're likely to have more misunderstandings, more communication breakdowns, more problems like that. So I would advise you have this discussion prior to the 13th. Yeah. Okay, single Sagittarius natives. Mm -hmm. It seems like August all over again. Yeah, there isn't anyone new that you want to date. And when you revisit past lovers, you find that, well, you know, there is a reason why they're in the past. Sagittarius, this month, you're probably going to be feeling kind of melancholy about the past too, because that's Mercury. Mercury says, hey, remember that situation? That was funny. Remember that one time you were on that date with that person? You had a good time. Why don't you go back to them? Stop a minute, pull out that journal, and go back and revisit that time. That might have been some good times, but there were also more negative times. So if you want to go back to someone, sure, <laughs> sure. Just make sure you're not settling. That romantic partner from the future is getting closer, but you have to meet them halfway, which means you have to stop settling for less than you deserve, which you've done in the past. This would be a good month to work on yourself and not worry so much about dating. And that's not what you want to hear. I know because you're bored and you're tired of all of this setting around. You want to go out and have those adventures, but they're really not going to be possible. So maybe flirt a little bit online with someone, but don't expect things to really take off. The partner that's coming probably won't show up for a while yet, but trust me, they're worth the wait. People from the past will probably contact you as well. And, and like I say, it's totally up to you. If you want to go back to those lessons and revisit them, sure, sure. Don't make any major changes though with your love life until after Mercury is over. I mean, you can make a plan, sure, but after, say, mid-November, go back and you may see that there's some holes in the plan and that maybe you don't still feel the same way. So don't, like I say, don't make any radical changes just yet. Okay, last card. If you stay on your current path, where will you be at the end of the month? Hmm, inner child. 
okay just as you would take care of a small child you would nurture and care for a child it's time to show yourself the same level of care so if you stay on the current path you will be an excellent space in your life to continue shadow work and I say continue because you've been working on it off and on for some time whether you know it or not <laughs> so if you want to know more about shadow work you can email me here and we'll we'll talk about it I do shadow work with people but that's another story let's get back to you regrets are absolutely useless Sagittarius you're at a point in your life where you know this you're at a point where you know that the past is influencing you and it's robbing you of decisions the way you used to handle situations isn't working anymore and you're done with that you're remembering who you are and remembering that you don't have to settle remembering that life isn't supposed to be drudgery and fear it's supposed to be joy and bliss and fun and an adventure so there you go you're at that point now where you're awakened enough it's time. It's time to take care of you. It's time to nurture yourself. It's time to make some decisions and maybe some radical changes, including healing trauma from the past so that you can finally be free from it and move forward like you know you should. So I think you're on the right path and you're moving forward. This is going to be on the outside looking in a slow month for you. You're not going to make that million dollars in that new business you created last week. Probably not. You're also not going to marry that movie star you've got the crush on. Probably not. But you're doing deep inner healing. You're moving forward with reconnecting with yourself and remembering who you are. These are big game-changing things. So it's going to be a good month. There will be some struggle because, hey, stepping into your power. And that also means dealing with the relationship issues too. For married, obviously, Sag, that's going to be a lot heavier, but also single Sag. Coming to terms with, ah, there's nobody interesting again for another month. What is this woman telling me? I, I feel you. I feel you. But it's okay. Take that energy that you would give to that new partner and give it to yourself. Take yourself out on a date. Spend time with yourself. Work on you. And then you will reap the rewards from this for years to come. We're talking years, Sag. This is a big game-changing month potentially for you. I hope you found this little mini reading helpful because I didn't do much. The cards just told you all of it, didn't they? If you would like your own personal reading, you can find me at Serenity. I'll put my information here and of course in the description box below. Once again, I want to say thank you to my patrons. This video happened because of you. And if you found this reading helpful, why not become a patron yourself? Join the other cool kids in supporting Serenity. I've got to go because I have more videos about to drop. Speak to you soon. Reiki blessings. Bye-bye.